So it's been an interesting few days within the Liverpool space, as we have caught wind that Xabi Alonso will no longer be becoming our new manager. Following this announcement, one man shot up to the top of the shortlist and is now favoured to take over the hot seat at Anfield, that of course being Ruben Amarim. Now in yesterday's video we got to know the man and his tactics, and in today's video we want to take a look at who he could sign for the club this summer and why he fits our business model. But before we do get into today's video, as always please do make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Now regardless of any new manager coming in through the door this summer, it was already announced back in September by the ever-reliable Paul Joyce that Liverpool, this transfer window, would be looking to revamp their defence after spending much of the last summer overhauling the midfield. Now I suppose it is just a coincidence then that if Ruben does in fact take over, that this area of the pitch will probably see the most change in the way that he currently plays and sets up his teams. The noticeable difference, of course, is that he does play a 3-4-3 formation, which is for its ability to generate offensive overloads in wide areas and facilitate seamless transitions to a 5-4-1 defence. When the team has the ball, though, and this is the most important part, Sporting employs a possession-based style, preferring to build up play in a 3-2-5 setup. This structure allows them to maintain control and systematically break down the opposition's defence, showcasing a blend of tactical discipline and creative flair. As we discussed in the tactics video, Sporting take their time in the build-up, moving the ball among the centre-backs and the double pivot, even bringing the goalkeeper into the mix as an extra player during that phase. To pull this off, you need defenders who are not just solid but technically skilled, and this is where we could see our first player being brought in, that of course being Goncalo Inacio. As the left centre-back Inacio shines, able to move the ball forward either by passing or by taking up the field himself. In the league this season, Inacio was ranked 8th for the most progressive passes at 148 and 2nd for covering the most ground with progressive plays, racking up 3,989 yards. It has been well documented that Liverpool are in the market for specifically a left-footed centre-back and actually regardless of the link with Amarim, it is a player that has been linked to us in recent years. At just 22 years old, the defender has earned six caps for his country and scored twice. He has been an ever-present figure under Amarim at Sporting, and with a release clause set at £51.5 million, he could be seen as the man to take over from Liverpool's current captain when his time does come to an end. Now whilst you guys already know I am a huge fan of Canate and do believe the Canate and Van Dijk partnership is our best, but one issue that Canate currently possesses is that he is constantly injured. In that case I have identified another potential defender that could fit the back three and surprise surprise it is again one of Amarim's current players. Meet 20 year old Osmane Diamande who plays as the right centre back and is just as vital to Sporting's patient build-up. He's comfortable receiving the ball with his back to goal, offering a reliable option for his teammates to keep the play moving. Take a look at this graph to see just how skilled both defenders are with the ball at their feet, and this is a very important part of Amarim's style of play and what he does. This is why it will be key, and we will have to get it right with ball-playing centre-backs this summer. Diamande is another young player who would certainly fit our current recruitment policy and has a very big ceiling, but knowing Liverpool, we will only likely make one centre-back addition, and the fact that we have Jarrell Quansar who has emerged this season and is also good with the ball at his feet, Diamande may not necessarily be needed. The fact that we are in a great place at this moment in time all over the park in the midfield and in the attacking areas means we don't really need to sign any more players, which just goes to show the quality we have within this team. Ruben is a great coach and can get the best out of our current players and may even be able to get the best out of Darwin Nunes. See, in the attacking department, Amarim values a striker who is strong, quick and good in the air. At this moment in time at Sporting, he uses Giarikis, and there isn't much between the two in qualities that they possess. Giarikis is adept at dropping back to help maintain possession and also excels at finding space in the half spaces to provide an option for his teammates. Sporting, you see, boasts the best attack in the league currently, with 75 goals scored from an XG of 55.2, and a significant part of this is thanks to Giarikis who has netted 22 league goals so far. His contribution of over 50 goals this season is outstanding and underscores Amarim's talent in identifying and nurturing players, which could bode seriously well for Darwin Nunes. 
This season, we have seen our academy take a lot of the spotlight, and a key reason as to why Amarim will be in contention for this job is to carry on the good work already done with integrating young talents. Despite the departures of key players like Matthias Nunes, Nuno Mendes, João Paulina, Pedro Porro, and Manuel Ugat over the past three seasons, Amarim's adaptability shone through. He navigated these challenges with a keen focus on youth development and giving players a chance. Now, this summer may not be an issue, but Virgil van Dijk and Salah are getting older, and identifying and developing their replacements is something we should probably be aiming to do as a football club. Just a quick one guys, before we do get into today's video, I want you to check out the channel's official clothing store, Copai Clothing. Each design is limited edition and is perfect to wear on a match day, on the terraces at Anfield, down your local, or cozy in the comfort of your own home. Do browse our big collection by going down into the link in the description, or going to copaiclothing.com. Thank you, and let's get into today's video. So yeah, as you can see there guys, he might bring in a few additions in this summer transfer window. And as stated, I do believe Liverpool, of course, um, do a bit of um, TLC to that sort of defensive ranks. But I don't think there's going to be any major overhaul to the actual team, nor does Ruben actually need to do a major overhaul. A lot of our players can play a system, to be perfectly honest. It's really only that left-sided centre-back that we'll actually probably need to go in and buy. Um, it's a very, very important as well, not just in the, the fact of the style of play. There's a lot that the, the, man, the new manager needs to be aligned with. Of course, uh, with this sort of academy, he's got a very, very rich um, history of developing youth and giving youth an actual chance. And then on the other side of things as well, you know, we don't want to be um, bringing in a new manager and being a checkbook club. Liverpool will never, ever be a checkbook club. And uh, we need to have someone that sort of fits our business model. And certainly, Ruben, in more ways than one, does uh, uh, does fit that um, model which is very very good to see now especially with this profit and sustainability stuff coming out that of course uh, Manchester City Chelsea have kind of all been hit with obviously more recently Nottingham Forest Everton um, and Leicester as well more and more clubs are going to be going closer to that line and over the years under Jurgen Klopp and under FSG we've not really came anywhere near to that so uh, we need to try and stay there and that's why it's important to be aligned from top to bottom and have the correct coach in that area that can sort of facilitate that and allow us not to be close to that line when it comes to the sort of profit and sustainability stuff because that's not going to be going anywhere anytime soon but Liverpool fans that's all I've really got for you today in this one I hope you enjoyed uh, the breakdown do you let me, well, let me know your thoughts do you think uh, Ruben Amrimi might be bringing in more players than just one or two this summer let me know down there in the comment section below and what other changes do you think will make to this squad that brings us to the end of today's video as always please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content remember we do have Liverpool t-shirts for sale so do browse our collection by going down into the link in the description or going to cobbyclothing.com thank you and i'll see you all next time take care peace